India grows more bananas than anywhere else in the world. But about half of each plant goes to waste. One company is turning that waste into biodegradable sanitary pads that could help more people have safer periods. With disposable plastic pads on the rise, can banana stems save the country from mountains of trash? We visited Sati to see how it's using worldwide waste. When Sati started out in 2015, only about a third of women in India had access to pads. And that can mean more than just discomfort. You're missing out on school or work for those five days every month. And that sets you back. I was proud to be an Indian, but also was ashamed that we cannot provide something of basic necessity. Tarun Botra and Kristen Kagetsu set out to help without creating more plastic trash. And they found the answer in farm waste. Just one banana plant stem can yield up to 3,000 pads, according to Sati. The stalks only bear fruit once, so after each harvest, farmers clear the fields to make room for new growth. Chirag Desai is a researcher looking for new ways to use these leftovers. The farmers are dumping it on the roadside or canal side and it will create a huge environmental as well as social problems. His team has turned banana plant fibers into fertilizer, fabric, and even candy. The market is growing for such type of natural products. He shared some of his knowledge with Sati's founders. They stay here for one week. We gave them a good training, basics, how to extract the fibers and all that. The first step is to cut the stalks in half. Workers pull the halves apart, layer by layer. They feed these celery-like chunks into machines that leave just the stringy fibers behind. Workers wash the fibers and dry them on a line. Then, they're ready for a second life. The founders set up stations with machines like these around the country, so local farmers can extract fibers from their own crop waste. We have been closely working with 18,000 of them on a regular basis, where we have set up different extraction units. Sati pays the farmers for the fibers. Giving additional income to farmers, that's the first part of our circular economy. Farmers can also use the liquid from the stems as fertilizer. At the Sati factory, workers feed fibers into machines that cut them into shorter pieces. The next step is turning those pieces into this fluff. The founders told us this part is a trade secret. We do our magical process once they reach our factory, convert them into a cotton-like material with our patented technology. Which eventually will be pressed into more thinner and thinner uh, sheets. This is the absorbent core of the pad. What is happening over here is, they are putting all the different layers of the pad together. Workers layer the banana fiber core between other sheets. Tarun says these sheets are made from plants, but wouldn't tell us which plants. He says he's worried about other companies copying Sati. After the pads are cut to size, he tests them out from each batch using water mixed with ink. And the good part is that it is spreading. Instead of staying here, leaking out of here, the material throughout the land is utilized. Sati says the adhesive on the back of the pads is non-toxic, but wouldn't say exactly what's in it either. The pads are ready to be sanitized using light. What we use over here is a UVC light, which sterilizes or uh, reduce any kind of viral load. Finally, workers package the pads. So there is not much of a rocket science over here. It's simple packing. They wrap each one in yet another secret plant-based material and seal the packets with heat. The founders say the pads and all packaging are 100% biodegradable. And they sent their products to a lab that confirmed this. This is a packaging made out of hygiene paper with no plastic coating on it. Roll it up. Use the same tape to stick it and throw it as it is. Conventional pads are made mostly of plastic. If all the menstruating women in India used them, it would create an amount of trash 10 times the weight of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch every year. Sati says if buried, its pads will break down in under six months. If they're left out in the open, it's more like 18 months. 
Before disposable pads were invented, people often used cloth, dried plants, or whatever absorbent things they could find. I would not say that these are always unhygienic methods of menstruation, but what makes it hygienic or unhygienic is whether the material is clean, how long it is used for. Many in India still use cloth for their periods, which can cause infections if it's not washed and dried frequently. Sati sells its pads at pharmacies, at specialty stores, and online. And for each pad the company sells, it gives one away for free. We take it from people who have enough and give it to those who need. Most of the free pads go to people in rural areas who are less likely to have access to them compared to those in cities. We have successfully distributed almost two million pads now. Experts say free pads are helpful, but education is also key. We really need to go beyond just provision of pads now and talk about what it means to hygienically use them. Four to six hours is the maximum one should use and definitely change after that. When Sati introduces its products to a new area, it organizes talks about menstrual health for local women. At one recent session, Tarun spoke about pads and handed them out to attendees. जो महिलाएं थी वो ऐसी थी कि बहुत मतलब जो गरीब कंडीशन क्योंकि वो अगर वो 40 या 50 रुपए का पैकेट लेती है तो वो सोचती है कि उस दिन का मेरा एक दिन का गुजारा हो जाए एंड प्राइस इज इन द ओनली इशू कल्चरल टैबूज कैन आल्सो स्टॉप पीपल फ्रॉम बाइंग पैड्स तो ये कोई पाप या कोई श्राप नहीं है तो इसे हम इस तरह से हमें नहीं देखना चाहिए दो इट्स बिकमिंग लेस कॉमन सम ट्रेडिशनल कम्युनिटीज लिमिट वुमेंस बिहेवियर व्हाइल दे आर मेंस्ट्रुएटिंग पहले जैसे गांव में भी लोग पीरियड आता था तो पांच पांच दिन घर के बाहर बिठाते थे अलग से उसका खाने की थाली सब अलग होता था और सिटी में भी बहुत से लोग करते थे जो जूने रीति रिवाज को अभी भी कर रहे हैं वो लोग बहुत करते थे अलका बेन हैज वर्क इट साथी फॉर अबाउट फाइव इयर्स इन दैट टाइम शी सीन एटीट्यूड टूर्ड्स पैड्स शिफ्ट तब हम लोग गए थे ना साथ गाँव में तो पहले कोई नहीं लेता था अभी तो सब लोग ले रहे हैं अभी तो वो दिक्कत नहीं शी इज एबल टू सपोर्ट हर फैमिली विथ हर अर्निंग्स पगार आता है ना तो खुशी होती है कि वो कर सकेंगे वो कर सकेंगे वो ला सकेंगे ऐसी खुशी होती है पगार आता है ना तो किसी के पास मांगना नहीं पड़ता है सिंस 2010 एक्सेस टू पैड्स इन इंडिया हैज रिजन ड्रामेटिकली Art, activism, and government programs are making it easier to talk about periods. जो है वहाँ पे अभी government भी focus कर रही है कि लोग sanitizer pad use करें. बहुत सारा awareness अभी होने लगा है. But about one in four women in India still don't have sanitary period supplies. That's tens of millions of people. But seeing how things have already changed keeps the founders going. A lot of women are having safe periods. the environment is not being polluted with plastic the biggest service one can do is leave a greater legacy a better world for generations to come what's better than that <laughs>